Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I will be going through the most important support and resistance levels on the Bitcoin chart. We're currently seeing a retrace on the Bitcoin chart, but I'm going to be explaining in this video why I am in a long position on Bitcoin right now. And I also want to be covering the massive selling pressure that we are seeing right now on the Bitcoin chart with hundreds and millions of shorts opening, but prices managing to hold up. So I'll be going over what that means and why I continue in a long position. So I hope that you really enjoy this video and let's get into the charts. Hope you enjoy. Thank you ever so much. So here we are on the Bitcoin chart, seeing a bit of a retrace at the moment. Obviously, I am in a long position and I want to be starting off with explaining how and why I am in this long and where I'm in envisaging it going. So to before we go over what's happening right now on the charts, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to explain how we really got up to this level and why I'm not so worried, even though we're seeing a few potential bearish signs at the moment. OK, so I'll explain the long position that I'm in towards the end of the video. Let's start off with here with a bit of education and explaining to you how I got into this long position so you can basically learn and start to do hopefully these things yourself. So to bring it back, only 24 hours, what will we see? We had obviously seen originally an impulse to the upside. You kind of get this bull flag and now we're starting to break up from that bull flag. So you could simply view it as that. It's obviously a few different ways that you could view this and Personally, it all comes down to having a plan. So it's very, very, very important in trading to have a plan and then stick to your plan. So this is what I was viewing yesterday. So from yesterday morning around 9.20, I basically viewed this area of support, which is the NYPOC. And I was saying to myself, you know, I don't want to, I actually don't like to preset orders. So I was saying to myself, I'm going to have an alert here. And when the alert goes off, I'll wait for the reaction. I'll wait for that step of confirmation and then I'll be happily take a long position based off of that. So I was aware of that at 9, 9.20. Well, two hours later, we just over two hours later, we come down and we hit that NYPOC. And for me, I liked the reaction. And then from there, you know, you can see here, there was a few different things. <laughs> obviously, Igor also put in out, Legend himself right there. Uh, also, we're obviously hitting like the CC, as you can see from other members' charts also hitting the, the CC there. So there's a few different factors of why this was potentially a good long. And I liked the reaction and really simply click on the link and you can see at that moment in time, I was also entering a long position. Price obviously did go a little bit lower than this entry. So people could have got a better entry than me. But at the end of the day, I made a plan and I stuck to my plan. So a lot of lot, what many people might do is they're going to say, oh, I'm happy to long at this place on the chart but then when actually price is dropping towards that entry you know they get scared they don't want to take the trade because they're thinking i'm not going to long here because it's going to go down even lower and then they end up missing out on the trade and then they kick themselves thinking why did i not stick to my plan you know that happens so often because people just get a bit, a bit scared a bit worried and they, they don't stick to what their original plan was so hopefully that wasn't you now obviously for myself anyway if i make a plan and then I get the original step of confirmation. I'm going to stick to that plan, whatever happens. And this, so you can see a little bit more insights, was my exact plan. And that's what I was sharing to the group of, I am happy to ladder into a long here down to the CCV target. So what we mean by that is obviously the CCV target is lower. And instead of shorting for this trade or that setup, I was actually kind of reversing it and saying, I'm happy to ladder in a long position. So essentially the lower that we go, you know, the more I'm going to long, <laughs> essentially. Um, and it's because I had a really nice idea of, you know, I had a nice setup. Ultimately, I'm expecting higher. The lower that we go, I feel the more fear there will be in the market, offers better opportunities. I don't know. I was just comfortable yesterday laddering into a long position, keeping it all really simple in that regards. And well, I, I think it worked out pretty nicely because as you can see, we, we got another impulse to the upside. I only managed to fill one long order on my CCV setup. So what that means is it didn't come all the way down to the low of the CCV target. So I had to add on a little bit higher. You know, that was off of, I was basically off of seeing yesterday the massive CVD. And um, so my average entry from this morning is around 51,600. I'm pretty comfortable with this though. And so that brings us up to where we are here then. So that's, I hope that helped you, first of all, of me explaining here how 
I got into that long, why I got into that long, and then really how I how I was managing that yesterday. And then what what we are now, nearly 12 hours later, we can say that was a pretty good idea as we've, we've made our way up. So we're now making our way out to the upside. Again, there's a lot of selling pressure coming on. But what I want to, what I first of all want to bring your attention to is our support and resistance levels and then the selling pressure that's on the charts right now. That's what I want to cover. So first of all, yep, I made that. I think I've made it pretty, pretty clear. I am in a long position right now. I personally, I'm going to be looking for higher levels. You know, I've got this, I've got this resistance box. Um, obviously, this is where I'd like to see price come up to. Um, does it have to come up this, this high? Obviously, no, it doesn't have to come up this high. But that's where I would like to see price come up towards this nice target box, which is based off of Fibonacci. This is based off of Fibonacci confluence. This is where I'd like to see price come up to before we get a, you know, a heavier retracement potentially. But yeah, I'm not really worried about this, this consolidation that we're getting right now. And I've got a key support level, which I'll give you now, which is 51,000 eight hundred dollars so between fifty one thousand eight hundred and fifty one thousand six hundred why is this such an important support for me well you can see that this is where the injection of volume happened today so if we got an injection of volume in that level you don't want to see price come back below that injection so that is why that is such a key support level for me and while we hold that key support i actually have no reason to close my longs basically so again i want to stick to my plan and it's like some part sometimes another thing that people struggle with is they'll make a plan they'll enter their their longs and then price will you know let's say they have a target up here price moves up a little bit and they're taking profits really really instantly because they're so worried about that win turning to a loss that they end up you know you have to have patience for the entry in the first place but then they don't have the patience to actually let that setup play out because they're so worried about that win turning to a loss that they end up closing the trade way too early. You know, I don't want to be in these positions of, you know, being scared to enter my trade, then being scared to actually hold the trade. No, you know, I just got to give it time. So, yeah, basically, I need to give this time. I have no reason to close out at the moment. If we start to lose my massive, massive key important support, well, naturally, you know, you know, I'm going to be expecting lower prices. But while we hold that key support, happy to maintain in the long. Uh, ultimately, looking up for this, this, this target box. Okay which again is based off of FIBS. Uh, but now I just want to move over on to the massive selling pressure that you, you, you were seeing, which I just think is, you know, it's really crazy. So if you look at this, yeah, 44 million shorts, 54 million shorts, 32 million shorts, 37 million shorts, 34 million shorts, 72 million shorts. And then last night, 56 million shorts, 121 million shorts. Look at this. This is new positions opening, new short positions opening. And what's really funny about this is that while I was entering my longs yesterday, I was like looking at this. I was thinking, wow, we're actually seeing hundreds and millions of new shorts open. And, I, and I'm happy to enter my longs here. You know, this is the thing, seeing so many shorts, but I'm, I'm still happy to long because why? Well, I have a plan. I have an invalidation. I have a stop loss. So at the end of the day, if I get stopped out of the trade, you know, I'm comfortable with that. But ultimately, I was seeing this as, as absorption, seeing this as a little bit of, you know, just a bit of fear and ultimately just trading with the bigger hand. And so, yeah, that's what something that I really wanted to point out to you, that we were seeing absolutely massive, massive, massive shorts yesterday. Price was ultimately holding up. That shows your absorption. And obviously, one generally will expect a push up from here. This is why I had to compound my long higher because I was seeing this and I was like... Well, it was actually from this morning when I woke up and I was just like, I don't actually think we're going to be pushing down much lower anymore. Obviously, we hit that lower around 3 a.m. my time. And, uh, you know, from there we've, we've pushed up. So, um, yeah, that's something that I just wanted to bring to your attention. The massive, 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 massive shorts that you saw opening yesterday, new positions opening, price holding up really well. You saw massive divergences. Look at that. It's absolutely massive divergences. And now we're getting another push to the upside. So I hope that this has helped you in learning you know we're obviously an educational group and so I've hopefully giving you a bit of insights into why i was longing yesterday my plan i was happy to long all the way down to a ccv target obviously we never hit the ccv target so only got one ladder entry field then that's why i had to compound a bit higher and now i'm seeing consolidation ultimately i'm still expecting another move to the upside where am i wrong on another move to the upside if we come back below my key support 
Okay, so you can see how I'm entering these markets with a plan. I'm sticking to my plan. I know where I'm right. I know where I'm wrong. I know where I want to take profits. I know where I want to trail my stop loss to. You know, at the end of the day, this trade is 100% guaranteed money, whatever happens now. So, you know, you get into those favorable positions by having a plan. Okay, so it's, 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 it's nice. Um, so I think that's what I wanted to talk you through. I wanted to talk you through that. I wanted to talk you through how I got into that long yesterday by essentially following my plan. Also, hey, now around that CC. This is a nice comment from this guy. My first trade as a champion member. Really nice group here. And I really appreciate all the education. Uh, looking forward to keep learning. And if you need any help to improve your Spanish, estoy a tu disposición. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, this is this is obviously great. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I wanted to bring your attention to today. Oh yeah, this is something that I was. This is this is, what, this is really funny. I was like, my face when I see that one hundred million shorts went into my long trade. <laughs> this is like a little gif, but this was this was pretty funny because this was a stream live stream that I done for the members yesterday at at, at midnight going into one a.m. Um, this was obviously a members one. If you want to see a public live stream, smash up the likes, smash up the likes on this video. Um, you know, show the YouTube algorithm that we are here. And, uh, you know, if this if you smash up the likes on this video, I'll do a public live stream for you tonight. Uh, so if you want if you want that us to go live, talk you through those sort of massive short positions, uh, you know, as as and when they're actually happening, then smash up the likes on the video and I'll do a live stream for you tonight. So that's uh, that's everything in this video. I've talked you through everything that I wanted to talk you through. Um, you know, we're obviously seeing a lot of sales right now. Is it potential? that we dip down lower, obviously it is, um, you know, that's everything that I want to cover. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much and have a great day. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.